Day 3, 11.41 a.m. We're in Nassau. And we're not getting off at Nassau. And we're not getting off at Nassau. It's the first time I have ever stayed on the ship in Nassau. Is it? I thought we... I've stayed on the ship in Nassau. You stayed on the ship in yeah, Nassau before. Yeah, on the escape. I have not. I kind of wish I went with you that day, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. What day was that? You got, I think you said you got all tipsy, didn't you? And then you guys stayed on Nassau until the boat left. Yes. Switch that out. Oop. We've had uh, really good room service this time, haven't we, Laura? Yeah, absolutely. You know, remember last time we never even saw. Yeah. Ever. Ever. Our person. Ever. And not only that, not only did we not even see the person, they didn't even come and do anything in our room. We had no room service. They didn't even pull down the bunk, open the couch, make the bed, anything. I think we had like a ghost. Yeah. I think that room was supposed to be Maybe closed was, and they shouldn't yeah. have put us in it. It was nasty anyway. So lunch starts in 20 minutes in the Lido, so that's just going up to 11, huh? Yeah, so we're not going on land. Menara isn't feeling that well. And uh, we've already, it's I've already done. I'm joking. I'm joking. No, but she did get a big mosquito bite yesterday, and I got yeah. one too. On my arm. It's so weird because my legs were completely exposed yesterday, but my towel was over my arms. But Some, I got a mosquito bite on my arm. They bite through materials sometimes yeah. if they're really hungry. I guess my blood is really sweet. <laughs> I can't wait to see what ships are out here. That's like my, one of my favorite things about Nassau. <laughs> Minara, I will walk off the ship just to get pictures of the other ships. Oh my god. Go ahead and do that. Bye. Off you go. I'm going go up top. Lady. I know it's lunchtime, but I want to go look at the ships first. So yesterday I had to keep my, my knees squished in the um, bus, That's like the, the tiny little seats. And so I kind of re-injured my knee, which I hurt a month ago on the Empress cruise. Um, somehow when I went snorkeling, so I can't really go up the stairs in that one leg very well. The Valor! Ever. But on this ship, I can't really see good. I don't like the glass windows so high. I wonder if everyone on that ship is on Team Valor or Pokemon. I bet the enchantment's over there. Oh, yeah. As you guys may know, that a uh, good time to enjoy the ship where there's not a ton of people uh, is a court day. Look, it's actually not even people hot Yeah, look at the difference in today and yesterday. Like, after everybody was on the ship. At last night, when it was like 11, okay, the hot tubs were still absolutely Oh, my God. The pool deck but, was so yeah. crazy. It was like a sea of people. It was like solely a night last night. I was gonna go walk up those stairs that says crew only. I was gonna walk back there to the back of the ship, but it's roped off. So let's just go downstairs and eat. Let's go. <laughs> the other normal day, this place would be a madhouse. You guys saw it all these days. The only reason it's like this right now is because a lot of people are in Nassau. Nassau, right. So we're in Il Adagio, which as you guys know, after my two vlogs here in the sky, is my favorite place to sit and eat breakfast and lunch. Really, that many people don't know about it yet. <laughs> Look at that, it's so cool. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this cruise ship. Um, yesterday, Minara said, hey, let's do like on our one of our cruise vlogs. It wasn't the sky though, it was in the majesty of the seas, I think. You can use a search bar on our channel. It's called What Happens in Nassau Stays in Nassau. And it's the first time we ever had a shop meals with a Trevon. And so Minara's like, hey, while you're here, you should see as much as you can drink. And I was like, oh, I could do that. Why not? I'm not gonna do it anymore. But then yesterday I had those four drinks and I don't really know what the definition of drunk is and I've never been drunk in my entire life, you know, where you no. can't walk and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you were, yesterday. But yesterday, <laughs> after I had those four drinks, I just, like, it was so blurry, my face felt numb, and I couldn't no. walk. She was like classic movie drunk, I swear to God. What? Like you know like they do in the, like the movies, you know, if someone gets drunk? See, I have to walk, look at this one as time to edit, like, and I'm kind like of... crying, and they're like, just... <laughs> Oh God. So maybe like, I was and drunk? And they're like so fascinated by did I get everything. I drunk for the first time ever yeah. yesterday? I did. Oh my god, it was hilarious. I'm, I filmed it. But I, I still was, con I knew what I was doing. I mean, I, I mean, some things, but I meant, I knew my name and my, <laughs> my Instagram name and stuff. <laughs> like, two basic things. I thought best. if you were drunk, you, do, you oh, didn't know nothing. No, Amy. That's just like wasted. There you go. That's I'm not getting wasted. No, 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 no. So I said, I'm not going to do how many can you drink in one day, because only four of those made me drunk yesterday. And if yeah, I drink five or six, I'd drink be wasted. Four, uh, as Amy gets drunk in Nassau. Let's just get drunk in Nassau today. I don't know if I want to get drunk. But then I tell myself, I only have two more days to get drunk. And then I don't have to get drunk. I'm going to take care of her. She'll be safe with me. Don't worry. I promise. And then I don't have to get drunk for a long time. But if I ever do want to get drunk, I'll come on this cruise, because this is the best drinking cruise. It is. <laughs> 
I know that she's uh, not old enough to drink, but she's a smart person. If you want to watch your family get drunk, because I find it extremely <laughs> interesting, come on this cruise with them. Hey, it's the best. And if you don't, then don't go on this mm. cruise. And if you don't want your children to see a lot of people drinking, well, sorry, you're going to see that on every single cruise line, because I'm telling you, this is going to be, this is my 10th cruise this year in 2016. And people drink on cruise ships, that's what they do. And especially these shorter ones, I don't care if it's free, I don't care if they pay. The guy behind me, he was talking about how his bill was $1,000 on the carnival. They drink, they drink, they drink. And I have not noticed any more drunkard activity. This actually seems to be less, I don't know why. And rather than the fact it was laying around like this. Yeah, but I promise you, this I have not noticed any more drunk stuff. Or anything. Mm, a few people, like in the maybe a little and stuff, louder. You know, a little louder, more. Yeah, like, but people are afraid hey. to come on the ship because they think it's just gonna be a drunkard party ship. No, but it's all not, ships, not. especially the three and four night ships. Right, but you've been on a lot of three and four nights. Those are typically yeah. party ships anyway, because yeah. they're short. For sure, you have yeah. a lot of younger people. Seven night cruises don't usually get as many insane drinkers. Stuff. Yeah, it's, other four -night ones it's true. Them. And the only thing about this is she's a kid. She likes it. She, she doesn't like drinking. I don't like drinking, but I'm doing this because I can. And if you were growing up, you could do it because you people, could. It's extremely entertaining. Like, it's like, come on. It's so funny. It's and they, they still have the kids clubs and stuff for kids. There's just hardly any kids on it. And they've taken away some of the kids' activities they had last time we were on it before it changed over to open bar and replaced it with more adult activities like changing that pool to adults only, the whole entire thing. That right there shows you they're geared towards adults. But kids can still come. And I don't have a problem with it. I teach my daughter about drinking and drugs and all that kind of stuff. And I say it's not good to do it, but it's okay sometimes. Control yourself, be in a controlled environment, be with people who aren't drinking. They can help watch you. Not by yourself, though. Right. And she knows that I'm only doing this right now because I can. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think. vacation. <laughs> yeah. That's your time to shine, okay? I'm probably going to be really embarrassed after I watch these videos, but hey, let's do it. Okay, I'm, I'm going to be vlogging probably this entire day because Amy's going to drop the camera like she did with her phone. No, I did drop the camera when I got to the ship. And I threw my phone yesterday, well, just like flipped out of my hands. Anyway, I already started off with two drinks because a lot of the bars let you order two drinks at one time, That's which is I nice. Know, yeah, I didn't have three. Didn't have it's nice because you have to wait in those lines, you know? And also on a day of port, a lot of, it was like one bar open until everybody gets on the ship. So I got a mudslide and a caprina. I don't know how to say that. It's lime. It's good. It's strong. I want to go to the pizza station. Make some pizza. So nice. Look how yummy those look. I want cheese pizza. Hello. Ooh. Barbecue chicken pizza. That pepperoni pizza looks so good. Cheese. Cheese pizza. Are oh, they like open? What time is it? 12.01. Oh yeah, we're first in line. <laughs> Are we? Yummy. We're gonna pretend like this is horizontally the ship, okay? The bar, the pools are right here, and the pool bar is right here. And if you go in this door to one side of it, you have where we're at, which is Il Adagio, which is the pizza and the pasta. And if you go in the other door, you have the buffet. And it makes a nice little circle so you can walk through and then come in the back way to this. So you can just leave here, go get some food over there, come back in here. It's a really nice place to sit. So Mara has pizza, pretzel rolls, and french fries. I have pretzel so rolls, healthy. fish fingers, chicken parmesan, piece of soy teriyaki chicken or something, parsnip, potato salad, barbecue chicken. I'm going to try all these things. And I got to drink my drinks are like melted. There. Boom. <laughs> How's the pizza? It looks so cheesy and good. It's so good. Oh, oh, they made it fresh right for you, oh, man. Mm. They always do, actually. I'm so really? So far, yeah. Did you anything yeah. already made? Potato salad is, um, the potatoes aren't cooked very well. Actually, I'm taking it back. They're not cooked, like, overdone, so they're, they have a texture still, which is really good, actually. Mm-hmm. They're still really firm. It's not mushy. Parsnips are really sweet. So good. Oh, my gosh. Those parsnips are delicious. Let me try the fish stick. Let's see what it looks like. It's nice fish inside. Mmm. That's delicious. I bet you Minara would even like that because it kind of tastes like steak. I know it sounds weird. My chicken is so good. And look at this pizza. It's barbecue chicken pizza. Mmm. Very good. When I find things are the best, when yes. I come across them, I show you guys. These. It's the best. Okay, look. It's just... I didn't even believe you until I tried one yesterday. It's so... Like, take a big pizza and look, it's so... Look at mine. Look, wait, look, look. Wait, wait. It's just nothing but don't touch mine. Your hands aren't clean. Your hands are so clean. Look Fine. At that. It's just like squished. So smushy. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. So and you bite good. into it? Mm. 
it's just like. Mm. And it's just so ready? soft like, and ready mm. and soft pretzel roll. I'm gonna miss these things. These are the best things I've had. Like, if I could pick one thing the Origin Sky has is the best, pretzel rolls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's some crew members leaning against the top up there under the funnel with their mop buckets. And they've been up there since before, since we went out, you know, onto this deck. Like, what, was 30, 40 minutes ago? Mm -hmm. What time is it? 12.24, yep. No, oh, man, it's almost like 40 minutes. I've just been hanging out. Carnival doesn't even know it. But Norwegian knows it. Yeah, Norwegian's probably like, look at those people. Let's go outside and do a check and make sure none of our people are doing the same thing. So that's a ship we haven't been on yet, Minara, right there. Carnival Valor. Carnival Valor existed. I did, but I don't know where it sails out of because it's, I don't think it's Miami because I never see it unless I just miss it. You guys, come on, I know you're cruise ship I've experts. Never seen it before. Where does the Carnival Valor sail out it of? It sails out of Team Valor's Pokemon base. What class is it, you guys? What's a, what's a sister ship to the Valor? So we've been on the Victory? The ecstasy, the magic, the glory. the glory, and we're getting ready to go on the fantasy. But we don't know anything about the ship, so tell us below. Victory. Comment, comment, comment. And we'll go on that ship. How's that? I want to try them all. Gotta try them all. Cruise ships more. <laughs> oh my god. So I have a little story to tell you guys about a drunk person, which is funny because we were talking about that earlier, but the lady who works here just reached her hand in here and she's like, are you done with this? To Minara's plate. And Minara's like, no. <laughs> and what did she say? It looks like, look at the little pieces. It's my plate. What are you doing with those? I have to know. I never noticed that. You're my own kid. Don't even put that much stuff in your food at one time. You could choke. What do you do with that? I want to know what you're doing. Is this something that you always do? Well, now I come to think of it. I'm not finished chewing, but I can tell yes, you. Yes, chew, don't choke. And while you're taking a long time eating your pizza, all this time you only ate one piece and it's been like half an hour. Two pieces. Well, I'll start telling you the story then. Would you like to look at my food while I tell you the story? Oh, look, there's a dessert. It looks like a boob. <laughs> With a nipple on it. It has a blueberry nipple. <laughs> it looks like a boob. That is lovely. It has areola and everything. Oh my god. I'm taking a picture of that. <laughs> How can I most capture it to bring out its boobiness? Full on, like, top. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm looking at someone's boob. Does this look like a boob for you? Ready? Okay. Most certainly. Like if someone laid a boob on a plate? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so right after we were talking about drunk displays earlier, I'm not drunk by the way, I just had two drinks. They were very quite strong though. So very quite I'm strong. I'm feeling a little something, as you can tell, because my words aren't normal maybe. But anyway, I was waiting for the pizza and this girl was like, to the pizza man, she goes, can you tell him to stop moving the ship, please? And he's like, the guy's like, it's not moving. And she's like, everything's moving so much. And then she's like, ah, oh, you know. And then the guy says, you want pizza? And she's like, oh, I don't think I even stomach pizza. I'm gonna go back to the bar. I'm gonna be at the bar. And then she left. And I was just like, wow. <laughs> I thought she was joking at first, because anyway, she was We're docked, okay? But then I get it, because yesterday things was like, kind of... <laughs> I don't know how she's walking around, really. Cover that up. That's pornographic. Hey, that's FW. This chicken is so good. Wow. Mm. Wait a minute. Let's hear about your bread. So... With the pretzels on the ship, what you do is you tear it open from the middle. Mm -hmm. So you put your finger, one finger on the side, one finger on the side. So half of the, pe well, the pretzel is going to be filled with a lot of good bread, and then half of it's going to be kind of empty. So you eat the half of it that's really good, and you save the empty parts for, for when you're done, and then you mash them all together so you can have another full part. You know what I'm saying? And then that, here you go. So this will taste like a good pretzel instead of a bad pretzel. Or you can just eat it in bites and every mouthful will be good. Like mother, like daughter. <laughs> Let me keep track here. Number three and four, same pizza. Pina colada, mudslide. They're actually strong, they usually are not. I only had three strong ones in my whole life. He put some liquor on top of this one because I said I wanted it strong. Sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. 
this good. It's not near as strong as like the martinis I drank yesterday. I think that's what did it because those were like all ugh, gross. I actually want one of those raspberry French ones, French raspberry ones, because that was actually very delicious. But I want to go back to the that specific bar yesterday towards the back of the ship, but I buy in this actually. Because the guy made the drinks very good. Instead of just like pouring it all together, he used a shaker and he put more effort into it and he actually tasted good. The one behind us. There's a private function and it's, ca and it's crew members. Like they're all in there and they're leaving with cans of soda and stuff. That's really nice. Norwegian seems nice to the crew members. Yeah. Okay, have you guys ever been to the bar and you were there for a long time and someone comes up and they help you, uh, someone else? That's not cool. And I just went to the bar to get these two drinks. There was seven people in front of me. And when I finally got to the counter, it was like two, two people being helped at one time. And it was like seven people. And when I got to the counter, the guy came up behind me in the other line. And my guy left me and went around and asked the guy who just walked up what he wanted. Maybe he's a big tipper. Okay. Oh, you're using my notes? Okay, we're going to take notes on what we want to do because I don't want to forget. I want to do the 9 o'clock library book sign now. <laughs> and we're not doing that. <laughs> Darn, we missed it. <gasps> what time is it? Oh, my dog. Is it? Okay, 1.30. 1.30, Arts and Crafts Origami. Write down Origami. 1.30, Captain Cook. That's all you got to write down. 1.30, Captain Cook. Well, at 1 o'clock, there's a Mimic Mania competition. What's that? Look, at 1 o'clock in the theater, Now You See Me Too is playing. What time is it? We have, like, 10 minutes. Well, you're not going to get a good seat. Let's go. We'll just watch it at home Let's with the go. family. No, no, no. I'd rather do Mimic Mania. Origami at what? Well, one, just put 1 o'clock Captain Cook's and we'll stay in there from 1 to 2. What's one Captain to two. Cook's? Don't know. It's a bar. We'll find it. Um, then we have 4.30 pool. Write down 4.30 pool. That's the Mr. Sexy Legs. Then we will have Sail Away Party, 5.45. 4.30. And then um, 5.45 pool. Put down 5.45 pool for the Sail Away Party with Essence. I heard she was a good singer. We're gonna go check her out. And then at, um, oh my God, Wait, six o'clock. Wow, well, you wrote big. That's fine. There's a new page. Library book sign out at six o'clock tonight. You wanna do it? Country Lang dance class. Minari, you wanna do it? Don't tell my heart. My achy, I'm not a good heart. I just don't think he'd understand. Well, you can tell my go? heart. Let's go do Country Lang dance. And you wanna? Where'd the note go? Mm -hmm. That'd be real easy because it's slow. Want to try it with me? Come on, you want to try it with me? Where'd the notes go? Well, okay, how about we just circle what we're going to do with this paper? Maybe that would be easier. Uh-uh. <gasps> can't believe you did that with my stylus. I didn't actually touch it. Okay. Doesn't matter, i got to return okay, anyway. It's explosive. It. It's explosive. <laughs> Here, you can use my pen. I'm not advertising. Take it. Car <laughs> Carnival. Everyone. I'd rather be on a carnival. That's not true. I, that's really not true. not true. I said that as a joke. I'd really rather be on the okay, ship right now. So morning, afternoon. One is one o'clock. Mimic, and then the we other should, thing. What's mimic? Don't know. Let's go see.